Hey everyone, it's Wolfren here, and today I have had a look at whether it's basically worth running storyline missions by buying them from the market or by trying to grind them out yourself. And so, because I was asking myself the question, basically, I did bad hair day last night and this morning, started last night, finished it off this morning. Um, it takes me about two and a half hours to complete bad hair day. I got bad hair day picking it up through the news missions, so I didn't pay anything for it. It get me. It got me 300 million isk as the reward. I figured out gives me about 15. Um, sorry, about 30 million isk in bounties. But that's split between two of my characters because I run bad hair day um, with two. Um, and I'll show you some footage in respect to that. Um, and in a bit, basically the last couple of waves, so you can see how. It's not actually that difficult, it's just a bit monotonous actually. Um, because once you get down to the battleships, it just takes forever to grind them down. Um, the, so, just so I can understand the parameters of this whole thing, I have basically two ratting clones one running a Cinnable and one running a Phantasm. On the T8 and T10 storylines, they do them jointly in a fleet. Uh, I've got some other footages. As to the loadouts, you can see my loadout videos. I'll link them in the description below so you can check out the loadouts I'm running. But basically, the Cinnable runs not quite 900 DPS. It's a very tanky version of the Cinnable. It can run 950 DPS, but because, and I go into other videos why it's tanky, it's about 880 cold. And the Phantasm runs, I think, um, 670 cold. Um, Bringing so about 1500 DPS um, cold, and that thing raises to about 1800 when it's hot, 16, uh, eight, maybe 1700 when it's hot. Um, I haven't had a look, but I can do bad hair day in about two and a half hours, and that's you know, me semi not paying attention, um, just paying attention at the right points. So, um, sorry, it's a bit of a rambling introduction. The whole point is I'm currently running high set missions to see if I can make the ist to get a rattlesnake. I'm trying to get to 11.5 billion, that's how much it's going to cost. And um, as you'll see from the previous videos, there's been some progress, some setbacks. This is the figure for the fund I've got to now. I've set it out there, I've set out in previous videos how I make isk in various different ways. Um, and again, I've had a bit of a slow couple of days since the last video. I've changed corpse, I've got to move stuff, I'm still trying to move stuff um, to the new, well, to the new corp base and I am also doing quite a lot more trading on my trading alt. Um, so if you want to see a video about reprocessing and how I make money, make it that way, check that one out. Sorry, there's quite a lot of other videos. But that's basically um, what I'm doing at the moment in terms of making esque. The other thing I'm doing is high sec mission running. And so I did the bad head day. I thought, well, 300 million is great. It's a huge boost. Um, the bounties, yep, about 30 million spread across the two alts. And then I think very well on the loot box, it, I got about, I got an 80 million, one item, an 80 million item, which I sold for 80 million. And then I think, you know, I'll probably get about 40 million in junk loot between reprocessing, selling off the bits and pieces that are worth something. Uh, about that, so I mean, it, it would be fair to say Bad Hair Day would pay you 400 to 450 million with e everything in, and it takes about two and a half hours. And so today I've been working from home. I've um, been doing paperwork, so I've been running my Cinnable character and my Phantasm character on the news missions, both to see if I can get a storyline mission. I haven't. And I've run it all day, uh, and secondly, to see how much isk I can make doing that, and basically whether it's worthwhile grinding out to see if I can get something like Bad Hair Day or even one of the T8 missions um, for the day. Now, I've not managed that, I've done it from midday, um, so I've done it for like midday through to the evening. I have taken a break, I've had lunch, I've had dinner, I've um, watched a film. And so it's not been sitting at my computer doing it 100%, but I've been doing it a fair bit. It's, it's, it's relatively AFK. I can do the missions just by um, setting setting my uh, ships off, 
they auto orbit I don't even select the targets I just let them go it and I just re um, retarget on each of the waves uh, let them get going pick up loot as and when I can uh, and then move on to the next one so it's not been too bad and so what I can say in respect of how much I made um, I made and I'll put the figure here 73 million esk on one character and on the other character I made considerably less because the character that made 73 million isk can run them on um, hard whereas my T7 character can run them on advanced and the rewards are way way lower uh, and so in fact I'll just double check so from running bad hair day I've made 30 million on that alt and he's been running storyline mission, uh, news missions all day same as the other one the other one on um, hard has done obviously much better because they pay more in both bounties and in um, the mission totals so uh, in total I've made 100 million I've barely filled both holds for my ships with junk loot it's going to be worth 15 million maybe a piece we'll have to see um, later but so I mean you're still talking about 100 million so the question is is it worth it well I think the answer almost certainly is no <laughs> it's not worth it it's it, it's not worth grinding these missions um, out if you can afford to buy the storyline missions because on the storyline missions you can make for example I can do um, soldiers way in an hour an hour and 15 an hour and a half sort of depends on what the location is um, with running the two characters at the same time and get paid um, 50 million isk plus the bounties plus the um, loot so I could and I have done you just stack up on the soldiers way they cost you half that if you buy them on the market they cost you um, the soldiers way at the moment get you cost you 28 million you'll get 22 million plus bits and pieces but that's in an hour and a half and I've got 100 million in 12 hours maybe running these missions and I still haven't unlocked a storyline mission so I think my firm view now is it's not worth it you're much better off I mean, if you if you if you run all the relevant storyline missions uh, sorry, all the news missions, so that you only need the last of the, the rarer news missions to get the storyline mission. By all means, then just hit, keep on hitting refresh. But I wouldn't be running these to make isk. Just buy the storyline missions off at the market and run them. If you're not enabled to run um, the T10 Bad Hair Day, um, and your devil, if you need to run one of the lower ones by all means run them one of the lower ones but actually I have found the T10 missions in the setup I have easier to do than the T8 missions with dealing with the last waves because the T10s just have a stack of battleships uh, which are easy to deal with they just take ages to grind through but I can just leave it I mean basically just go AFK um, when I'm on the battleships wander away do what I need to do do work and everything else and then just come back to it so um, I am firmly of the view that buying them is more efficient than um, grinding and of course if you get it then that's great because you make, make way more risk but you make more risk in my view buying them and running them if you can run them in an efficient time if you want to run them in an efficient time you need to get DPS you need to be able to do DPS and pick up the loot quickly which means that I mean that's why the Cinnable is so great because it it stacks out huge amounts of DPS um, it's tanky and it's a brawler so it's right there on top of the loot so you can pick it up that's part of the problem is if you have a prophecy and you're miles away which is fine and safe but it's going to take you forever to go around and pick up all the loot and all that goes towards your efficiency and how much risk you're making anyway um, that's me rattling on about uh, this this is just the experiment I did today to see uh, and I firmly come out on the view I'm going to be buying 
these missions. I'll pick them up when I can on refreshing it, but I'm not going to go out and just grind news mission after news mission because it's just not worth it. It's it's far more efficient for me to just um, buy them and run them. Um, and that, I include Angel and Devil and Bad Hair Day uh, and Sweet Poison in those. Um, so anyway, what I've left is the um, final waves of Bad Hair Day just to show actually if you can handle the beginning of each of the more complicated waves where there are a large number of ships then it's very easy after that so right at the start basically I'll just pull out um, the fast moving frigates so I basically approach away uh, away from the pack let them come to me uh, snipe off the fast moving frigates approach the pack uh, and there's plenty of other videos I've done on doing these missions solo uh, with with the two it's way way easier um, and I can just snipe them off and then once I get to the bigger ships I can just take them down and this is really what this footage now is showing you in respect of bad hair day so it gives you an idea but um, thank you very much for watching I hope this was useful if you think differently if you think I've got my calculations wrong there's a better way of doing it there's a faster way of doing it a better way of making ISK in, in high and low sec um, let me know but at the moment I'm firmly with you I'm just going to run storylines that I've bought uh, depending on how much time I've got available but that's what I'm going to do anyway um, leave a like subscribe uh, and all that sort of stuff thank you very much for the huge amount of support I've been having as I've been doing these videos